Living in silence hurts. My name is Justin Lofton and I lived in silence for a long time. I personally have experienced the negative side effects that comes with living in silence. All through high school, junior high, middle school, I was not able to accept myself and to just realize that I was gay. Because where I live in a small town, Mississippi, people are anti-gay. The Bible Bill. It's so many things, so many stigmas that come along with being gay here. And people automatically associate you with having something or doing something and or just like a death sentence. And so I was fearful and I had a right to be. But as things led up and I grew older and I graduated from high school, I realized that there were even greater side effects to come and that would include my sexual activity. A low self-esteem just pushed me and made me feel like I wasn't good enough, like I didn't deserve respect or love because I didn't even accept myself. So I made myself vulnerable. I did things sexually that I shouldn't have done and it put me in a place to where I needed to be tested. Not for only for HIV, but for STIs and other things of that nature. And I was afraid for once in my life. And I knew that I could no longer do the things that I had been doing, that it was time to stop. And I made that decision. After being tested for HIV, other STDs and STIs, everything came back negative. And I don't at all consider myself lucky, but everything became very real for me soon after when all of my friends one by one came back with positive results for HIV and it really put me in a place to where I knew that it was time for me to do something. I knew that I had a voice and leadership potential that could help others if I just share my story and the stories of my friends. And that's exactly what I did. Because I know firsthand how it feels to sit in a room and wait on test results only to come back negative. Because I know people in my life who I'm very close to that have HIV. And because I know what it feels like to be vulnerable and not to love myself in any way, shape, or form, that's why I've chosen to speak out. Maybe there's something that I can say to someone else that's going to encourage them. Maybe there's something that I can do to help somebody to love themselves and to accept themselves for being gay or being HIV positive. That's what I believe my purpose is. And that's the reason why I speak out.